our very first podcast at PL963. My name is Martha. And my name is Emily. Today we have decided to add a brand new topic to our table, which is... Baby Mama Drama. I feel so weird. I, oh my God. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> so, what is a baby mama? For me, uh, it's just a mom. Mm -hmm. Uh, you have a baby with this person and you are no longer together, together. Mm. You just carried someone else's child. child. Yeah <laughs> And many of these times these baby mamas tend to you know cause drama, mm. you know, you see mm. you see mm. fights all on social media mm. You know this you know that you hold this level of you know power yeah. against this person mm. how do they use up this power Oof, girl the drama in baby mama like okay let's for example let's say the the the, the other gender the, the father of the child gets a new girlfriend or gets remarried and then the baby mama is just like you know they have this thing of entitlement so she feels like she can just pick up the phone and call the guy in the middle of the night and be like hello the child needs money the child is sick like just like that. they don't yeah, even yeah, give yeah, their yeah. respect the drama to there. think like this man is laying next to a new woman you know they don't care they just be like please pick up the phone then the moment they don't pick up the phone it's a whole paragraph you don't care about the child you do this 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 that. there's a lot of things that goes on and probably let's say it's more of we broke up and then suddenly this woman is just angry you know yeah, now they use that anger resentment, resentment towards too. everything they're just like yeah it's your fault yeah. it's this it's this, your that. baby it's your baby you know? you know and for me i feel like it's emotionally draining because now men do love their kids you know like i mean it was like this is my child i got this person pregnant with my kid and they're just you know trying but then we are so loud and we're just be like it's your fault it's what what and you know women don't want to sit down and be like you know accept you know like accept like okay we broke up and it's like no 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 you can't break up with me after nine months of destroying my body and this is always yeah, something come like on, that whole what, nine months why do you mean destroying my cravings, your body and you, you, you know I, I, in a sense the of emotion like women, apparently hormones yeah all the hormones that i carried for this baby that is mm. you you know okay mm. it's our baby but come on now i went through all that pressure all the midnight cravings or the, the late but in fact ah. and you want to break up with me See, nah. that's exactly that's not gonna happen you can literally be a, 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 a dramatic mother right happen. there like a baby mama drama you know all that these women keep on doing is they keep leeching off of the person mm. they keep asking mm. for money every single way they go you know they even want the man to supply the house for them you know that's 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 uh, true a whole that's house true. like i have a baby and you gotta baby. get me a proper flat you, you know? gotta pay the, the bill because we can't be in the streets see that we can't be in the streets the child All is that. in the streets the child needs water the child is walking to school well like all that is just so unnecessary you know like it's it's just something that women I, I don't know like i think because we have you know the power the voice and everything so we kind of use that you know so it's just like they we don't even care about okay how about the men taking it like some some of these women literally break off these other relationships you know because there's no way that i'm in bed with my man and then you're calling and oh he comes home every day is complaining about oh my baby mama this my baby mama that you know they just what is the word um manipulation always mm. whether it's manipulating um the daddy mm. into uh whatever is going on whether the child is sick or not like i don't know um what some of these men they're really busy they yeah. are really busy so they're trying to you know see their child here and there mm. but the times that they don't the times that they're not there they you know end up uh poisoning their children you know that your father ain't there you know what do you want do you, you break the relationship between these two individuals all because of the hate and resentment that you have you know all of this these troubles these mini petty arguments you know one thing that that they do they 
always argue true it always ends into arguments i don't think there's ever you know like a you know sweet baby mama that uh, goes on um i haven't actually ever heard of like that situation no. you know it's always beef and and i know that you're not supposed to you know people are, people say that you can't be friends with your ex mm, but come yeah. on this, this is someone that you're always gonna end up meeting yeah. you know i can decide that you know okay um i'm never gonna see my ex again because mm. we're not attached yeah you know you did what you did and you're gone but now you know kind of the the baby or the child forces you to have a relationship you know, you, you don't argue every day. You come into like a subtle arrangement and agreement. So that's what's supposed to happen between this person. Because you're connected somehow, yeah. whether you like it or not. This entitlement where you feel like, you know, my baby's sick. I'm going to pull up at his house because then, the child you know. Is sick. The child is sick. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, it's his fault. All of a sudden, you know, it's no one's fault but him. But when you're getting this money to support this child, you, you know, it's it's all on his back. Mm -hmm. It's all on the daddy's back. It's all on their back. And they don't really have much say mm -hmm. and much to do about it. That's true. That's true. And it's, it's actually never enough, you know. We want more. We, we're draining this man out there. Like, <laughs> we, I'm telling you, a baby mama can literally get a car out of just saying, your child is walking to school, you know, like that. But it's, it's, it's kind of, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's the most weirdest, awful thing that we women do, but it's happening. You know, some of these men are not even seeing their kids, you know, they're sending money every end of the month, even in the middle of the month. And some okay, of these women... True actually moved on into new relationships. They have some other people, some are even married, but still picking up that call and be like, your child is, your child is sleeping a in the dark. A whole married woman. A whole married woman, you know. And then some of them, they just don't want this man to move on, you know. They don't want them to have new relationship, new family. So they just use this whole thing of, of, of arguments here and there. And, and some of them even try to be funny way they, they send me a picture of my child and then they be sending something sexy and whatnot. Just do you know, just another, like, I want you back. So do you think this um, baby mama drama is, you know, really relevant? Is it really drama or is it supposed to be there? Because, you know, sometimes um, fathers are absent. So it's like, you know, yes, I'm going to pay my child support. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this. But then they're not even there. You know, they don't even take a step to visit their baby. So, of course, I'm going to wild. Of course, I'm going to, you know... Um, cause unnecessary drama. I'm gonna complain every day. I'm gonna hit you up because I want you to remember that I'm there. I want you to remember that your child is there as well. And it's not my fault. It's like a two-way street. But then all you come and do is, you know, you wanna pay child support. Like money is what grew my belly and everything. But do you think it's, you know, um, reasonable that um, we call it baby mama drama? Definitely. We all know. These women, there's nothing, like, there's never, like, it's never enough, you know. They still want more. So, some of these, these daddies are not even, are not there because they don't want to. They are not there because these mothers do not want them there, you know. Mm -hmm. They use it as a revenge because, you know, they have their power, entitlement and everything. So, either was, even if these fathers try to be there, these kids are already poisoned by their mothers, you know, because... Okay, your daddy ain't there, he didn't yeah, come back with the He didn't come milk, back, exactly, you know? he didn't send you money. Right. He, that, he might even try to literally just send a $30, or it's not enough, or a 200 is not enough. That is going to come back and say, your father was never there. Your, or maybe he just missed a month of sending money. Just this month, he definitely had his finances uptight. I definitely uptight. think that that does put pressure on See? them because at the end of the day, you know, you have uh, to pay school fees and later on you have, you know, you're hearing again that might, your child doesn't have clothes, mm, mm. there's no food. You know, this person hassles. Wherever they got their money from, yeah. they have to, you know, try again and do it. I feel like they're not understanding. Yeah, you are right. Definitely. You are right. But then, like, um, when you look at what do what causes you know, this drama, like where is this drama coming from? You know, like 
weird because it, it comes from somewhere. It's, it's somebody just doesn't wake up and start calling you, yeah, you did this, this, your child, this, this, your, like, it has to come from somewhere. So what is wrong with us women? Hmm. Blame it on the women, but I want to blame it on the men too. Mm. Like... Okay, of course, okay, we've always blamed it on the man. Let's, l- let me not lie, you know, we say men are trash here mm, and there. True. But, you know, okay, let's leave it out where we have, you know, the, res- like, you know, the irresponsible men. Mm. You know, let's leave that one out because I feel like, you know, the irresponsible men are always um, brought to light mm, mm. whereby now light is not even shone on the, on the ones that are actually responsible. Mm. So what you're forced to do is pay your child support, you don't get to see your children, you don't get to be actively involved in, you know, someone that you're supposed to bring up. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a joy in your life. This is a, you know, something. So I feel like at the end of the day, um, our support needs to go to responsible men. Mm. Men so, never get custody of their children. They never, they're never deemed responsible enough. And I think that that should change first. First, true, started. true, true. But then, then um, this is coming from like a um, place of the breakups, the the PTSD, you know, after the pregnancy and whatnot, and. Um, the whole thing of uh, you probably plan to have a child with this person to keep the relationship and then it doesn't okay, work. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Money. Yes, yes. You know, some people get pregnant because I want this man's money. And those are the things that we women need to look at, you know. People can't even co parent properly. The child is now grows up without one parent and then leading to this, next to this. These are mostly things that we women, because at the end of the day, we women are the one that, you know, we carry the kid like for nine months. And then we get to stay with the child, you know. Some men end up with these kids, you know, not a lot of them. But then, and then we are the ones that's causing these dramas, you know, because we are not, you know, we're not healing properly. You know? Education. True. From, from home. Good. Yeah, from home. education. That, All that, the way that from home. Right because there. then, <clears throat> if you look at it uh, properly, um, I'm pretty sure independent women. Mm. These problems don't come from independent women. No. All this drama, all this nothing, you know. No, no. If I have my kid, you know, I want to raise him or her. What are you going to be there on? No, because then I am going to be financially stable. Exactly. You know, what I think is, you know, people don't go through family planning. They don't do this. I mean, I feel like both of you, especially in this state, mm-hmm. you know, 2023, come on now. You have, I, I feel like you should look at it at, at a position where both of you should be stable. Exactly. Children are expensive. Children, Children are expensive. expensive. Everything right. else, everything else, everything is expensive. Come on now. What I think is just education back from home. You know, That's of true. course, you're going to need a man. Um, not that you need a man, mm. but you know, you can submit. To a man in a household, mm-hmm. in your household of the two of you in a relationship, mm-hmm. but financially, you know, look at where we are. You have to be a stable, independent woman, woman. before anything else exactly. that comes forth. Well, 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 that's what we have for today. So, in case you have any comments about baby mama drama or you have a different point of view, you can just put it down below in the comment section. I mean, if you would love to, you can present it to us down in the yeah. comments. And I mean, you can come over and head over to our studio definitely, so we talk about it. Definitely. We are open for interviews. Mm-hmm. So if you'd like us to talk about a new topic, you, sh- you are definitely welcome. Definitely, definitely. welcome. Little, like, just comment. Comment below. Comment below and we will attend to Do you. Exactly. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> and also one thing. Yes, before we go, we have um, Pedestal coming up. It's a reality TV show. So if you are at the age of 18 to 35 years old and you're a musician, artist, influencer, upcoming, so you can send us a 60 second video of why you're eligible to be on a Pedestal reality TV show that is coming up. Hit us on 085-776-7777. So come on now. Let's have it. All right. Good day. Stay tuned, people.